Given a factor in a third degree polynomial, we're going to use the factor theorem to factor the polynomial. Step number one, we're going to use synthetic division to divide the polynomial by x minus k. Step number two, we're going to confirm that the remainder is zero. Step number three, we're going to write the polynomial as the product of x minus k and the quadratic quotient. Number four, if possible, we're going to factor the quadratic. Number five, we're going to write the polynomial as the product of factors. For example two, we're using the factor theorem to solve a polynomial equation. We want to show that x plus two is a factor of x cubed minus six x squared minus x plus 30. Then we're going to find the remaining factors and then use the factors to determine the zeros of the polynomial. Step number one, we can use synthetic division to show that x plus two is a factor of the polynomial. So we're going to use negative two as the value of k, and then we're going to write in the coefficients of the polynomial, which we have one, negative six, negative one, and then 30. The first thing we need to do is bring down the one. We'll take negative two times one, which gives us negative two, and then we're going to add negative six plus negative two, which gives us negative eight. Then we're going to take our negative 2 and multiply it by negative 8, which gives us a positive 16. So negative 1 plus 16 gives us a positive 15. And negative 2 times a positive 15 gives us negative 30. So positive 30 minus 30 gives us a 0. So therefore, because we get a remainder of 0, we can say that x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial. And then we can use a division algorithm to write the polynomial as a product of the divisor. So if we take a look at x plus 2, we know that is the factor. And then what's remaining is x squared minus 8x plus 15, which is what we're multiplying that by. So now we can see that this is the, div the, the division algorithm to write the polynomial as a product of the divisor and the quotient. So this is the quotient and this is the divisor. So now what we want to do is we can factor the quadratic here to write as a polynomial. So we want to check and see if we can factor that. So if we take x plus 2 times x squared minus 8x plus 15, if we do our factoring, we have 15 and negative 8, and what two numbers can we multiply to get positive 18 and add to get negative 8 is negative 3 and negative 5. So now we can write this in factored form. So this becomes now x plus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 5. And therefore, we can figure out what the zeros are. Well, the zeros is going to be negative 2, positive 3, and 5. So by the factor theorem, the zeros of x cubed minus 6x squared minus x plus 30 are negative 2, 3, and 5.